I haven't clicked this button before. Or at least not for a long time. So I'm kind of down to just click it and play Sword in turn. It's a bit awkward with this, <laughs> not gonna lie. I probably shouldn't have clicked, I probably shouldn't have absorbed the uh, plus one exchange, but that's okay. That's okay, the cat is allowed to have questions. I love that this costs 10 destiny. I know I said it before, but I love that it costs 10 destiny. Oh, that's really bad for me. All right, I start on 80, that's fine. little cat. I'm gonna need to find the tier two, um, the tier two cards, since that's a big part of the appeal, right? But the level one cards still have some value, so I think it's okay. Like, you want to do Detect, Chi, Sword, Form Intention, Sword, Rhythm, and, uh, Flying Fang Multi-Hit, if I recall correctly. I just have to spend a bunch of early rolls since I took this fate. Sorry, examine body. Ah, uh, shit. I only, I don't need to max it. It's fine. getting there. I don't believe in Bad Omen. I feel worse about rolling the Flying Fang, since that's a card that's going to be on my board for a while. But I don't want to start on 60 Destiny. Ooh, those were everything. I don't really need sword defense, right? Or I don't need to upgrade with detect chi. Uh, in case of multi catnip, that makes sense, but. That's alright, I'm I'm so far away from withdrawing my catnips. <laughs> Love it. Ugh. 
But yes, that does make sense. Good, so we want to keep upgrading these cards. Okay. Rectify the mistake. I want to keep rolling on two, but this seems okay. I'm not a bronze cat person. Just regular cats for me. Alright, I, mean, I have to max both of these, but we'll get there. It would be nice to draw one more copy of Flying Fang at least. I will have a very hard time maxing it, but... It happened. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, do I need bronze cat? I just don't want to think about it, to be honest. Uh, we stay on two until we max contemplate and form intention sword. I guess I only need to find one upgrade, because Catnip can upgrade the other. But I definitely want to find at least one more. Then we take out tier 5, and then our board is Form Intention Sword, Contemplate, Flying Fang, Cat Chaos. I don't know if anyone has ever defeated Break Sky Eagle though, so it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. World first defeated Break Sky Eagle. So next turn, we can break through. Oh yeah. I have immense respect for this. It's round seven, he's on four physique, so he's already actually used memory fragment to upgrade, like, crush this block. <laughs> Huge respect. <laughs> Nothing but respect. <laughs> If I kick one, two, three. Sometimes you just gotta take memory fragment and upgrade Crash Fist Block. Well, I I think I would be more tempted to save it for like a tier four or five card that's actually good and not <laughs> the worst level one card in the set. But you know, I I, I get where he's coming from. You do what you have to do. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. It's gonna be a little underwhelming, but I think it's fine. I'm not rolling for anything else on this tail.
Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's actually too many. <laughs> it's too many. <laughs> hmm. Right? It's too many. This is detect. Yeah, it's not worth it. Okay. Glad to know that I'm on the same page as Pit Bunny. No chin rays, so form intention sword is uh it's good. We keep examine body because it can let form intention sword smash defense. I don't really have a second card to upgrade with uh catnip. But it's not a huge deal. We have to roll a bit on four anyway, so we'll find something. Bad Omen. Do you not really believe in this card? I was trying to really believe in I have to click this button, which sort of sucks. Sure. I have to click the button, it just upgrades a random card, whatever. Sure. I think so. Do I know? Maybe I don't. Maybe this board does a billion damage. Turn three kill. Okay, so maybe I didn't have to click the button. Counterpoint, clicking buttons is fun. This is actively bad there. I gotta spend some rolls. I don't really know what I'm rolling too, but we'll, we'll spend some rolls. Some sort of big G board. As an opener, is everything in Advisable better than this? Probably by a little bit. This just makes my next thing smash defense. This gives me imperceptible amounts of block. Of a muchness. All right, then we click wave adaptation on five, and we exchange for uh, surges. And then that's that's the game. That's that's the whole game. <laughs> Rule skies, chainsaws. Those are all playable cards too. It's a good game. Don't get me wrong, it's a good game. I'm not complaining. I'm excited to get to actually play these. Because it's not something I've done before. Alright. He's making physique. Cool. 
cool. This regen that he's gaining two per turn is going to be a real problem. It's going to make it very difficult for us to kill him as this fight goes on. It's dawn time. I mean, if we get to here, I would just we'd probably just dead, right? Gotta spend some cards. Can't really make inspiration sword work. Just do some rolling and combining. Looks beautiful. Is it worth playing Heavenly Fleeting Time, or should I just play Bad Omen and accept that if we get to Heavenly Time Fleeting, we're probably dead? I think it's fine to just play it, to be honest. His board does not look super fast. Uh, never mind, it's unrestrained or something. No, it's just Cloud Sword nonsense. It's nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have to give up like hexproof or something for it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to keep this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I take these cards off my board. Kind of hard to keep three cards in my hand. Because way of adaptation is non negotiable. I'm sorry, I wish I had a little extension. That's true. I think I'm gonna need it against someone who's on tier five and is playing Barry the Lord, Tiger Pouncing. X proof doesn't really do anything here. Seem to know what's up. plays this and the bearing the word I die, but he didn't, so I win. Sucks to be him. No way we're here.
don't value any of these cards super highly. Value this one the least. Lucky star. Gonna roll something. Not really a cycle of fate duck. It is a sword intense damage duck. Allegedly. Dragon Ram's a little bit of damage, but it's pretty minor. Is good. We can envelope our opponents. What I'm saying is an optimal board is this and a surge, and then whatever other tech you can fit in. Kinda dead here, that was too much defense. <laughs> Okay. Playing this kind of cost me a lot there. Yeah, not enough penguins. So sure. Um, this is getting kind of bad now. Because, like, uh, this whole getting killed business is not great. actually matters. I could try to everything is inadvisable, the five thunders. I don't know that, that actually does anything. We can slot one rule, it's true, but then we can't play the form intention sword. <laughs> that sure makes this play look terrible, doesn't it? Oh, I can play both. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yes, yes, yes. No, I got you. Oh, this one. Yep, yep, yep. You are, you are correct.
That's the gist of it. This comes in. Gwen doesn't really do anything here. Does that do anything? I don't think so. <laughs> Just getting another tech card in, probably. It's cute. Credit for being cute. I'm gonna do it because it's cute. Not weaken me. Oh, a mistake. Normal, normal stuff. Going on here. Like, what do I even do with this? <laughs> like, what, what, what do I even do with this? What do I penguin? I'm pretty sure I'm just going to ignore him. That's the turn I want him to die. <laughs> Everything goes away is better for damage than, uh, than Bloodshed, because it blocks two attack down. What the fuck is this? I see the vision. I do see it.
This can backfire. If he attacks me on turn one, but he's not attacking me on turn one. This gives me a good amount of block on, let's see, one, two, three. I want it on turn two, which is perfect. Ship it. I'm going to be fun out here trying to create war crimes. Trying to live new and exciting ways of violating the Geneva Convention. Boo, coward. <laughs> At least hit ready before you dip out of the game. I mean, I should try to configure my board to beat Wu Fang. Maybe. That was very scary for a moment. Wait, what? Is he going to beat me? <laughs> I'm dead. No, it's, it's mistimed. This guy wanted to Exodia. Alright. One more? actually got that right. I don't give him too much time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like on six, this is a fair bit of block. This is probably fine, right? Problem if he has a real board in his back pocket, but I don't think he does. I think we got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cultivation was too high for, for that to be realistic. Smooth gameplay. I love Way of Adaptation and Kako. <laughs>